God bless everybody watching this video. Have you ever felt confined in a matrix of deception, unable to break free from the negative influences around you? Today, we're uncovering how belief in God, a transformed mindset, and proper care for our bodies can lead to true freedom. We'll also explore how to disconnect from toxic influences and align ourselves with God's divine truth. Many people feel trapped in a cycle of negativity and control akin to living in a matrix of deception. This matrix can be seen as a metaphor for the spiritual and mental constraints imposed by external forces and unhealthy patterns. By recognizing God's power within us, changing our mindset, and taking care of our bodies, we can break free from this illusion and embrace true freedom. So what is the matrix that everyone speaks of? In this context, the matrix represents the illusion of reality, controlled by external forces that keep us in a state of unawareness and manipulation. This matrix manifests as societal pressures, negative thought patterns, and spiritual deception, and Satan plays a role in all of it. Satan, as described in the Bible, is a deceiver who seeks to lead people away from the truth and the divine power within them. John chapter 8 verse 44 refers to him as the father of lies, whose influence can lead to confusion and deceit in our lives. There's a battle going on right now of people that are staying asleep and people that are waking up. Many people accept the status quo without questioning it. This sleep represents a lack of awareness about the true nature of reality and the divine power God has put within us. Following societal norms and media influences often leads to spiritual and mental stagnation. Awakening involves moving beyond superficial understanding and seeking deeper spiritual truths. It also leads to going down a rabbit hole that many people cannot turn back from. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 14 calls us to wake up, sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. This verse encourages us to seek enlightenment and spiritual awakening, and many people are starting to wake up by doing their own research, and they're finding that they're uncovering a lot of lies that we're being fed every day. Many are waking up by researching historical inaccuracies and questioning official narratives about our world. This independent investigation reveals how we've been misled and manipulated. Personal revelations speak to seeking the truth through personal research, which aligns with John chapter 8, verse 32, which says, Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Understanding the lies we've been told helps us connect with God's truth, and we will then be given spiritual eyes able to see past the veil and the deception. God tells us to connect with him in the secret place. Jesus emphasized the importance of the secret place in Matthew chapter 6, verse 6, where he says, But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father, who is unseen. This intimate space allows us to connect deeply with God and hear his voice clearly. To access this secret place and God's truth, we must spend time in quiet reflection and meditation away from the world, away from the noise. Being still and listening helps us open ourselves to God's guidance and understand our divine purpose more fully. To stay aligned with God's truth, you must protect your energy from negative influences and people who are still asleep. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33 warns, Do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. So it is vital to surround yourself with positive, supportive individuals who uplift your spiritual journey. We must also set boundaries. Establish boundaries with those who perpetuate negativity or distraction. Focus on relationships that nurture your growth and align with God's purpose. This will not be easy as this could even be your own family, even your own parents, people that you grew up loving and being close to. 
but you may realize as time goes on that you two are walking in separate paths. It is also important for us to change our mindsets and we must renew our mind every single day. As Romans chapter 12 verse 2 instructs us to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. This transformation is crucial for breaking free from the matrix. It involves aligning our thoughts with God's truth and rejecting worldly deceptions. Here are some practical steps to shift your mindset. As you can repeat daily affirmations. Affirmations such as I am guided by divine wisdom or God's truth sets me free can help realign your mind with spiritual truths. And you can also show gratitude and positivity and become gratitude and positive. Cultivate gratitude and focus on uplifting content that reinforces your belief in God's power. We must also feed our minds and our bodies through healthy living in all forms. Taking care of your physical body is essential for spiritual well-being. Eat clean foods, avoid toxic substances, and maintain a healthy lifestyle. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 through 20 reminds us that our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit. We should honor God with them. It's also important to protect your mind. Feed your mind with positive, truth-based content. Take stock of what's showing up on your YouTube, your TikTok, or Instagram feed, as the algorithm shows you a lot of things that you usually view. So avoid negative influences that perpetuate lies and deceit. We must also cut out toxic influences in our lives. This can start by avoiding toxic people. And again, this will be tough as it can be friends and family. Distance yourself from individuals who embody negativity or misalign with God's truth. Engage with relationships that support your spiritual and personal growth. And we ourselves must break free from destructive patterns. We must recognize and eliminate habits and environments that contribute to negativity and control. Embrace practices that align with God's guidance and promote positive change. And by doing these things, we can in turn escape the matrix and find true freedom. This starts by identifying the matrix. Recognize the patterns and systems in your life that perpetuate negativity and control. These may include societal expectations, media influences, or personal fears. And here are some steps to freedom. We must embrace divine identity. Understand that you are a child of God with inherent power and potential. This realization helps shift your perspective and break free from limiting beliefs. And we must then break free from negative patterns. Challenge and replace limiting beliefs with affirmations and actions that reflect your true spiritual identity. We will then be able to live in alignment with God's kingdom. Remember that God is within us. Luke chapter 17 verse 21 reminds us that the kingdom of God is within you. This verse emphasizes the divine presence within each of us, empowering us to overcome the constraints of the matrix and live fully in God's truth. And we must activate that divine power. By embracing this divine presence, we can activate our inner potential and live a life aligned with God's purpose transcending the illusions imposed by the matrix. Let us close with a prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for the divine power and presence within us. Help us awaken from the matrix of deception and embrace your truth. Guide us as we renew our minds, care for our bodies and protect our energy. Teach us to listen in the secret place and understand your word more deeply. Thank you, God, for hearing this prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If this video has resonated with you, then comment below with how you plan to apply these principles in your life and share your journey toward greater freedom and empowerment. Thank you guys for watching this video, and y'all have a blessed day.